Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. Let's make it pop. Hey, we got another really cool pop a box concept. And what's better than a regular box? An octagon box with eight sides. Look at that. This is a really cool. I've been doing a lot of these like sort of pop up box um, crafts and I think they're really fun. So, hey, let's get started. What do we do when we get started making our crafts together? We download the template. So we've made all these cool templates for you. You can download them for free down below in the links. Click on it. You'll, you'll download that PDF and you can print it out onto cardstock. And you're gonna need five pieces of um, cardstock. You can use white cardstock, you can use any kind of color of cardstock you like. Um, and it's, it's good to use the cardstock because it's a little bit stronger. And, and so the first thing we're gonna do, as always, when we start our crafts, we score all the black dotted lines, okay? That's the first thing we do. And we use like, usually if it, just look around, you find a big old paper clip, and we're gonna press into the paper using a ruler and we're gonna um, we're gonna score those lines. And what does you, you ask yourself, Matthew? What does scoring the dotted lines do? Well, it actually, on a very small level, it kind of breaks up the paper fibers, and it tells those that the paper that that is where we want it to fold. So when we fold the act, we try to fold the paper, it it goes in a, in a very straight line. And that's what we need for this craft. And so that's why we're using a ruler and our paper clip and scoring everything. So after we've scored everything, what do we do? Pull out those scissors, or you can use a craft knife if you're really good and you're a little older and you, you can um, use them. Um, I know I'm old, I'm old, so I can use a craft knife or scissors. You know, you have to be, you have to be real careful about any cutting um, tool, but anyways. So use a pair of scissors that you are comfortable with, or if you're a little bit more adept with cutting, you can use a craft knife. Um, which is what I use because I'm old. I've been using cutting tools for a long time. Got to respect that cutting tool. Anyways, use some scissors if you're using them that you're comfortable with. Don't use right-handed scissors if you're left-handed and vice versa and um, all that stuff. So we're going to cut out all the pieces and be real careful. And then after we've cut out all the pieces to our pop, we're just going to pre-fold everything. And you don't need to fold it in a specific way. We just want to make sure all of those scored lines um, that we we scored w along those dotted lines um, that they all fold okay so we're just gonna pre-fold them real quickly not as fast as her though wow fold all those pieces and next up we're gonna start decorating so it's easier to decorate this project before we glue it all together before we assemble it so you can use anything you can use colored pencils you can use markers you can use crayons you can use colored paper. You can use all kinds of things, but you're gonna notice that when we decorate this pop-up box, we're decorating on the opposite side of the die lines, right? Of those lines, those template lines. So you see, we're, we're coloring and drawing on the opposite side so we don't see those black uh, dotted lines or um, solid lines. And um, that way, you know, so our project looks a little nicer, right? So we don't have to see those black lines. So we're just gonna decorate on the outside and, you know, think about what the outside box is gonna look like, what that art's gonna look like, and we can color it. Now, my, I, would, I would advise you not to use paints when you're doing something like this because it'll warp the paper. So use every, you know, markers, you can use color, marker, uh, paint markers, you can use all kinds of other stuff, but um, I wouldn't like use watercolor to because it'll warp the paper. But we're just decorating the outside. You can decorate it with anything you like um, in any way that you like. All right, so once you've decorated everything, it's time to start assembling. And what do we need? Good old glue. Good old glue. Don't we love glue? Um, I would just use regular craft glue, just like this. This is like Elmer's glue. And um, we're gonna start assembling and we're gonna look for all these little gray areas on our templates, turn them over. And we're gonna start with area A. So let's see, we're gonna glue area A and right here to itself. We're gonna fold it over. Let's put a little glue right on in that area. And remember, you know, don't squirt a big old blob out of that, that glue bottle. Um, you wanna just make sure there's a, a light um, spread of glue on there. I'm just gonna glue that piece right onto itself. Just like that. Then we're gonna fold it over just like that. Just to make sure that that works well. All right, now let's get these long pieces. And we're gonna glue these long pieces. This is all eight sides. We're gonna glue it to a set. So, so we see where tab B is? We're gonna glue that to tab the glue B here. So a lot of times we make the, in these templates, I always make sure to have these instructions on the template so you know where to glue stuff. 
So these are little um, guide areas. It's really important. We're going to put some glue there. We're going to put our tab over it. Real, see how it's nicely lined up? Just, just like that. Just like, okay, there we go. We glued it down. Perfect. So we have this long, long piece, just like that. We're just, you know, making sure it's glued to itself. And be, a, be patient. Let that glue dry for a, for a little bit. Don't have to let it glue. If you don't use a ton of glue, if you don't have a big old layer of glue there, then it will glue, uh, it'll, it'll dry a lot faster. Okay, so now we're going to glue tab C to itself. And you can see it's the end of this long piece. So again, we're going to just put our, our very thin layer of glue in that area, area marked glue C here. And we're just going to glue it back onto itself. Look, we can fold it right over. It should fit right on top of itself. That is awesome. Just gluing it right down onto itself. Oh, yeah. I've been really busy these days, by the way. That's why I am not in these videos myself. My hands aren't. But um, that's going to change. Um, these last two box videos are, are um, uh, I will, after that, um, I'm going to be in a lot more of these um, myself. So I'm changing things up a little. Now we're going to glue these little boxes onto all the sides. These are the these are the sides of our box. And this is gonna double up the cardstock so it's a little bit stronger. So we're gonna put some glue right in this area here. And we're gonna glue each one of the eight, because it's an octagon, um, eight sides to this box, just like that. All right? So we're gonna do that eight times. Um, but anyways, I wanna change up the format. You know. Like I've been doing the same sort of uh, style, different crafts. You know, I sometimes I do pop-up masterclass, and um, I've been so busy with this new imprint that I'm doing that I haven't been able to start doing my masterclasses. But that's gonna change. I'm gonna try to get more videos out, um, more videos out weekly, and um, just because you know it's fun, and and I got some more helpers to help me. Um, uh, to get the crafts ready so I can actually be the one to make the videos with you because I think it's really fun. Um, and I, I, I gotta make the time. I just, I love sharing this stuff and I, I wanna do a bunch of different new sorts of crafts. So I gotta be there for you. So here we go. Here is this third side. And we're gonna do the fourth side, the fifth side, the sixth side, the seventh side, and the eighth side. So all of those sides are all doubled up. So that's the outside of our box. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to glue all the tabs on the sides to the base. And you're gonna see that there are certain letters that line up. There's E, glue E here, F, all those different, let's see, E, F, E, how the, there's a lot of different letters on there. Oh, I see, D goes there, see D? Right there, so there's the D ones, and then there's E ones. So we're gonna glue them all down, just like this. So there are four D tabs, and there are four E tabs. So you're gonna see that each of the tabs are, are it's pretty easy to see where they go on this bottom piece. We're gonna put glue in this area on the edges. Don't touch the glue. Don't touch the glue. We don't want to have gluey fingers. I tell you, I sometimes will squeeze the bottle so much that it will make a huge puddle on my project and I have to go get like paper towels and clean it all up. It's so much of a pain. So now very carefully, you're going to line up all those tabs. Take your time. Take your time. This is, we made it so that the tabs wouldn't overlap too much when we glue it down. See, it should, it should glue perfectly, so we're gonna glue all of our tabs into place. Do one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs all glued into place. Take your time, like I said. Sometimes it's a little frustrating. And there we go. See, look at that. They're all glued in place. Oops, sometimes we make a little mistake. That's okay. Oh, by the way, mistakes are fine. If you make a mistake making this, guess what? You can make it all over again and do it right the next time. Or you can take apart your project very carefully and re-glue it into place. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Look, my life 
has had been filled with so many mistakes, but sometimes they're happy mistakes and we learn along the way. So be okay with your mistakes, okay, people? All right, because I am. But if I, if I got in trouble every time, if I quit every time that I made a mistake, I would have been, I don't know what I would have been doing now. I wouldn't have been doing anything because I made so many mistakes. That's just the, the way, way it is and it's okay. Be okay with those. those. That's, that's part of learning. Anyways, that was my, that was my, uh, that was my talk for the day. Okay, we're going to glue this bottom piece on. Shut up, Matthew. Shut up. Just get back to the craft. And we're going to glue this bottom piece. And we're just going to glue along the edges here, underneath it. All right. Now let's get to assembling our little pop that goes, the, the little pop top as it is. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to fold this over. And we're going to glue, these are the three pop top pieces. Okay, where do those go? There's F. Okay, so let's find where F is. That's F. We glue that tab right there. Look at that. See, I got you covered. I got you covered with where all these pieces go. So we put a little glue there and glue on tab F. Just like that. Zing. Okay, where's glue tab G? Let's see, it matches up. And what I did made is a little key in. And a key in um, tab is one that that is shaped like the area that we're gonna glue it down in. Go, glue it in, bang, boom, pop. I gotta have all those exclamations, right? All right, let's, this last tab, oh, there's H, and it goes right there. So glue it into place, just like that. All right, so we've glued this, we've glued, glued those three tabs, those push tabs, and make sure it dries. Now we're gonna put some glue, see where it says here, glue I here and glue J here. Okay, so we're gonna first glue down I and that is I tab right underneath. It's the base of this smaller lumpy piece of our pop-up addition to the octagon box. I love these boxes, they're so cool. I love making these, okay. So we've got that made. And next up, let's glue the other lumpy, the one that has like three bumps on it. Let's glue that down and that's tab J. That's gonna glue right there. And it's, see that it fits the, the tab shape just like that? Yeah, just like that. Okay, see this long tab here? We're gonna, we're gonna snake it through that little, see that little slot? We made a slot there. Snake it right on through. And see those tabs in the back? Those are gonna glue, we're actually, those, those make layers. Those are where they're called layers. Let's glue this tab right on top. And that is tab K. So we're gonna put some glue on the area right here. It's like a big old square. And that's gonna go on the inside of our box. And there's a, a marking spot where that's supposed to go. Let's glue it right into place, just like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is actually gonna make a little lip on the inside of our box. So this is the, this is like, um, gonna make a little shelf inside the box. You're also gonna see these two triangular tabs, L and, and N, see those two? Those are gonna glue onto the sides and see there's there's even m little m tabs too so there's there's m the tabs are the little teeny ones and o that's a little teeny one and then we have our l and um n tabs are the big um triangular ones so let's let's just we'll go ahead and put glue on all four of those tabs so it's l m n and o all those tabs i know the alphabet Whee! okay so let's glue these all into place just like that. You're gonna see their little gray areas on the inside of our craft box, of our craft here, that um, we know where to glue them. So let's glue those into place, just like that. It's gonna stabilize our little box shelf there with our pop-up on it. And there we go. Make sure you're very careful and glue it all into place. And be patient, be patient. Let that glue dry. You gotta let that glue dry. So our, 
Our box shelf is glued into place. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna do the lid. See this part here? This is the lid of our box. And the, it's gonna be the inside um, underneath the lid. So we're gonna glue it onto the lid, which is this other octagonal piece with the tabs on it. We're just gonna glue it and make sure we, we paint in a lot of glue inside that, that octagonal space. You can even um, move around your octagon a little to make sure that it spreads the glue a little. And um, this is gonna double up our lid for our box so it's nice and strong. And see those little, there's little um, trapezoidal shapes there? That's gonna be where we glue our tabs um, for those layers, those long strips that come through. So next, we are gonna glue this lid onto our box. So we're gonna, see that? That's tab S. We're gonna put some glue on it. And we're gonna glue it into place on the back of the box. There's a, there, there should be a spot just right there. That's where it's gonna go. Beautiful. And there may not be a gray area exactly for it, but that's okay. We're gonna glue it into place and we're gonna hold it. Now it's important we really let this dry. So after we've glued this lid into place and pressed it down, Make sure you let it dry. And you can like put it down like this onto your um, desk and press your finger on the back and make sure it glues into place because that's a really important joint right there. All right, so we've glued our lid in, we've let it dry. And now we're gonna put some glue on these little trapezoid shapes right here where these tabs glue on. Look at that. And they should fit exactly into place. We're gonna fold them under so we don't have to see the tabs. See how we're folding them under? And all three of them should fit onto our lid. And they'll, they, should, they should glue exactly on those spots. So you can kind of pinch them and hold them into place. Oops, pinch them and hold them into place. Get all three of those tabs glued into place, just like so. And remember, let it dry. And what do we got? Let's open up our box. Look at it, open it up, let's see. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Wow, there's a pop inside, look at that. And th that pop is just layers pulling our pop-up pieces back. Look at that, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. You can use it for anything you want. You can give a gift, put something inside. Um, oh, this is so cool. I love making these surprise boxes. Hey everybody, this is Matthew Reinhardt. Thank you for joining me making this really cool octagon box. I hope you've liked it. I hope you make your own really cool one. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.